Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the channel. It's Damien Guyton here and I'm here at Universal Studios to come check out the latest updates since I was last here. Now I know there's definitely a couple of updates that have to be here considering that Mardi Gras is only a couple of weeks away. There has to be definitely some upgrades with their food tents and just the lighting statues and everything that goes around the park just for that. As well as the fact that Shrek 40 closed a couple of weeks ago so I'm definitely sure there's going to be some uh, piece of memorabilia in the prop shop. So we're gonna have to go and check out that. And then lastly, I hear that there's supposed to be a Universal Monsters tribute store coming. So we're gonna check out the area that's supposed to be in and just have a look around the park and see what else has been updated. So come with me today as we go and check all that all out. Now, since it's so cold, it's almost 3, 10 p.m. I'm definitely gonna go and catch the beat builders right now because that's gonna get us started and get us pumped and get us ready to go and check out the park. So come with me as we go and check out the beat builders and see what this show is all about. Just gonna be just across there. They play over there. So let's uh, head over there. <laughs> So that there was the bee builders and as you could tell, they definitely got the crowd pumping and going. It definitely helped keep us warm and uh, got everyone energized. So it was awesome to go and see them first. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making my way towards the back of the park. So we go and check out some of the updates at the back of the park first. Um, just cause I know there's some Mardi Gras tents towards the back of the, tent, uh, the back of the park. So let's go and check those out. So now I've just come up to the, uh, the back of the park where there is a boot tent for Mardi Gras. But as you can see, there is like really no theming on the front of it. So it's interesting to see what's going on here just because I know that some of the other tents had theming on them. So uh, let's go and check out the rest of the park and see if we can find some more of those tents with the theming on them. So right now, it looks like I'm walking up to another Mardi Gras tent and this one actually looks themed unlike the other one. So, looks like they're doing a really good job in theming for Mardi Gras this year. Here it is right here. The looks of it right now, there's a uh, Squidward in the window at the, uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants store. Yep, it's Squidward. Squidward's like, what is that? Squibber, it's a camera. That's really a camera though? Yeah. So small. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than your clarinet. <laughs> oh! That made him mad. <laughs> well, as you can see back there, I just made Squidward really mad, <laughs> saying that this camera that I'm using is way better than his clarinet, so he's definitely mad at that. <laughs> but just across the road from the SpongeBob SquarePants store is another Mardi Gras tent, and it looks themed very well as well, so I definitely can't wait to see them in action and seeing all the foods they're gonna be uh, selling at them. And that's the store there. So I'm at the front of the park near where they have the Lagoon Show. And as you can see, the Mardi Gras are, uh, theming here for the food is starting to come along excellent. I just can't wait to see all the different foods they're gonna be selling here and try them all. So yeah, this is coming along so good right now. And from the sounds of that, it sounds like some characters are coming out to uh, see us all and greet us. So let's go and check out all the characters that are coming out now. And by the looks of it, it is uh, the Minions, specifically Minions. So let's go and check that out.
that was awesome. I got to see Gru, the girls, as well as the minions. And I've also got to see uh, Squidward today. So today is definitely turning out to be an awesome day. I don't normally get to see the characters that often because I don't normally go to seek them out. But uh, yeah, I got to see multiple today. So it's been a pretty good day today. I'm gonna work my way towards where they normally have a lot of the Mardi Gras tents. And that's over in front of Monsters. So we're gonna go check that area out and uh, see what's over there. And it looks like uh, Megatron's out today, so uh, we'll definitely have to stop by and uh, see Megatron. Here are some more themed Mardi Gras uh, food tents over here. They look like they're coming along pretty well. I definitely uh, cannot wait to try the food that's going to be sold out of these, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And then as you can see, they actually head down, uh, down the street here as well. And it looks like they're actually uh, preparing some stuff. We got some chefs out doing some things, so you can tell it's getting close. They're getting all prepped up and ready for Mardi Gras. So just to cover all the food locations for Mardi Gras, there's going to be food locations up the front by Monsters. Um, and then there's also going to be some on the San Francisco, up by San Francisco toward Richter's. And then towards the back between London and Simpsons, there's also going to be um, food tents. And then towards Kid Zone. So they're the main locations for the food tents here at Universal Mardi Gras. Thank you for visiting the Universal Orlando Resort. Face coverings are required indoors and at all attractions regardless of vaccination status. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy your day. So this here is the, uh, the Mardi Gras main stage here, so if you're coming to watch any of the concerts, this is the stage you want to go to, and as you can see, it's looking ready, ready for the concerts. So now I'm heading towards where they normally have the, uh, the tribute stores, and it's going to be interesting to see if they actually have one this year, because I'm heading towards there, and it, uh, it appears like there is no outdoor facade for it, which they normally have, so it's going to be interesting to see if they actually uh, have one this year or not. But I do know that there is actually another tribute store that's supposed to be appearing, and it's supposed to be appearing where the mummy store is. So when you get off the ride for the mummy where that store is, there's apparently going to be a Universal Monsters tribute store there. So we can go and check out that instead since there is no facade for a Mardi Gras tribute store. That's where they normally have the tribute store right there, but as you can see, there's nothing there right now. Now this is where you can see that there is a uh, Universal Monsters uh, a tribute to the creatures of the night, so uh, hopefully this is going to be a tribute store right here. It's coming soon, so let's go and uh, check out the area it's supposed to be in. And there you are, you have Imitet at the front on top of some crates. And right now it is still just an all store.
So I am curious as to when the store is actually going to appear in there because it, uh, it looks like there's not much movement in there. It's just the normal store. As you can see, the press painting machines in there for the mummy and just a bunch of other merchandise from Egypt. So it looks like there's no action in there. So I'm wondering if in that fenced off area, there may be a tribute section there. You know, kind of like a semi outdoor tribute section or not. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to make my way through the back alleys towards the prop shop because I've now went over the tribute store and also I've looked at uh, all the Mardi Gras updates. So I'm going to head towards the prop shop now through the alleys. This is like such a nice quiet walk through here. It's a quick way to get from uh, from the New York section down to the front of Transformers. So uh, it's just very quick. So thankfully it's open. I saw quite a few people have tried to come in here during the week and it's been like closed. So it's lucky that it's open today. And over here we have some Shrek 40 stuff. It is the shield. Sorry. have the podium. There's another shield back here. There were some shackles up there but they're not there anymore. Then we have some Horror Night stuff in here. The pumpkins from the pumpkin walk. And then we have some Mardi Gras signs back here. So if you want to take a piece of Mardi Gras home with you, you can buy one of these signs. So I just got out of the prop shop now and I'm going to head towards ET, but that prop shop was so cool. A lot of the Shrek merchandise that I saw online during the week, well, not Shrek merchandise, a lot of the Shrek collectibles that I saw online during the week are actually being sold now. Uh, there's like a bunch of shackles on that back wall, but they're now gone. Um, and yeah, so like pretty much most of the small uh, memorabilia is gone. Uh, and then as you can see back there, there was some Mardi Gras memorabilia, some science and stuff you could get. So there's just a lot on that prop shop you can get, as well as some of the pumpkins from that pumpkin uh, search or pumpkin walk that you could do during HHN. So now, uh, now that I've done that, the last thing for me to do today is actually ride a ride. So I'm going to head to the back of ET. And then back here, as we uh, make our way to ET, we can actually see a ET uh, poster on the wall. So it looks like it's a 35 minute wait to ride the ride. And I just gotta put my mask on. So I just tried to go and get on ET and apparently it's down and delayed. And they said it's gonna be much longer than a 35 minute wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's, head out and see if there's any other rides that I can ride before I leave. So let's, uh, let's quickly go and see what ride we can find to ride before I leave the park for the day. Trying to see what the wait time is. Hopefully it's a low wait time. Okay, so the wait time says 15 minutes. Let's actually find out what it's gonna be from a team member. So they said it's gonna be around a 10 to 15 minute wait as it says on the sign, so let's make our way there. The ride, it took a little longer than the uh, 15 minutes, but it was definitely worth the wait. And it just was so fun. I haven't ridden that ride for like forever, probably at least a year and a half. I 
I'm just about to head out of the park now. It was awesome getting to show you around the park. We got to check out where the new Universal Monsters tribute store is going. We got to check out some of the Mardi Gras updates. And we also got to see the prop shop as well as uh, just exploring the park. So thank you so much for coming with me. And until next time, uh, see you later.